Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty is finally speaking publicly this evening. Yeah, News 8's George Colley traveled to Washington, D.C. to speak to her about the scandal involving her former chief of staff. He joins us live tonight from Washington with her emotional response. George. Yes, good evening. This is the first time that Congresswoman Esty has faced the cameras since this controversy surrounding how she handled allegations of abuse and harassment by her former chief of staff. That included her waiting three months to fire the chief of staff, Tony Baker, after she found out that he had threatened to kill a former scheduler of hers. Now, the interview with her starts off with us asking her about her call last Monday to have a House ethics investigation determine whether she did anything wrong here. Looking now eight days later, mm -hmm. do you still believe you need an ethics investigation to answer that question? I want that investigation. I really do. Um, I think that it's important that the House, the people, that I understand what mistakes that I make um, and that my colleagues do too and that we understand what role the process Congress uses and the policies and the practices, what needs to be changed. And I'm really committed to trying to have something good come out of this. But, but I have to say, George, I mean, the most important thing is I want Anna and other survivors to know how sorry I am. I never wanted anyone to get hurt, and I'm so sorry. And if I could turn back the clock and have none of this happen, I would. But I can't do that. I can't go forward. You know, I can't try to fix this so it doesn't happen to anyone else. And that's, that's why I'm not stepping down, because I want to try to use the remaining time in Congress to get something done. I guess this could be a two-part question about yeah. you had mentioned, you know, what mistakes, what mistakes yeah. do you believe you've made? And what was that thought process from May sure. 6, 2016 until yeah. August 11, yeah. 2016? First, on May 9th, when I May was, 9th, when, when I learned on May 9th, third hand, yes. that this horrible thing had happened, it was just so shocking to me. My thought was to, to try to protect Anna and I called her right away. Mm -hmm. She left my office. I, she'd work closely with me yeah. for and you three didn't years. Know there was any problems before she No, went. no. I didn't even know they'd been dating. I mean, I, I knew none of that. And, and I still saw her occasionally. I just, none of it made sense. Yeah. I believed it yeah. for sure, but it, like, uh, it didn't make sense to me that someone I trusted yeah. could hurt somebody I really cared about yeah. that in theory he cared about. I, it didn't yeah. make sense. Now, Knowing what I know now, there are lots of things I would do differently, and I, I would have suspended him right away. Um, I would have gotten outside experts to conduct that investigation. Um, that would, then it would have happened quickly, and, and I would have done the same thing I did with the information, which is to say terminate him. That's what I did. I terminated him, but that took too long. It took too long. That's what a lot of people have been saying over the last couple of weeks since this controversy first came out. Now, Congresswoman Esty did announce last week that she is not running for re-election, but she said that she would not step down and resign. We did press her on that. Several Republicans and Democrats in the state of Connecticut have asked for her to resign. Her answer there coming up tonight at 6. We're live in Washington, D.C. George Colley, News 8.